Curtis Keane, ride for Specialized Bicycles, and I've been racing for six years at the EWS level. I'm Jared Graves, I've been racing mountain bikes since I was 14, BMX before that, uh, fifth year EWS since the start, 2013. Yeah, I just, you just used to love going out for, you know, long rides with your buddies and riding stuff kind of on the fly and taking it as it comes. Where we get to go, the type of bikes we ride, and how much we get to ride. You know, as simple as that is we get to ride our bikes a lot. New terrain in different locations and it's always um, it's always kept fresh and interesting and it's, it's definitely not stale. I think there's there's def definitely more depth now. Uh, more young guys and the young guys are fig figuring it out sooner. And the, the races have gotten longer and harder for sure. They, they tend to like to keep pushing us and it just seems like in the last couple of years, 12 rounds, it's rained 10 of them. So, you know, that's nobody's fault. It's just the way it's been. It's definitely changed, you know, and then now we have one practice run, which is something that everyone has to deal with. So you kind of get to walk tracks, be smart with, you know, what you should walk, you shouldn't walk. And when you do your one run, like, you know, do you stop at sections and hike it and go back up and try it again? You think you've learned X, Y, Z, and you have things kind of dialed, and then something comes along. Just weird stuff happens in racing. It's all say like stuff that you just like, yeah, how did that happen? I guess you just push it that little bit harder. Flipped over the bars. Big crash on stage five. Big, big crash. A pretty bad crash. Hey, crash round here. Man, we just, we ride so much at a high level on trail bikes going down like World Cup downhill tracks, five of them in a row. So, and you only know the track so well and you're trying to push so hard. So you get offline, you think you know where you're going, but you don't, so you hit this, you hit that. So many people that sit there and, and watch the races just don't know all the little things that can go into a race and that's what that makes it so interesting and so, I guess, so, such a good feeling when a race goes right because so many little things have to go right. It depends on the situation, right? Like where you are in the series, how you're doing, the race itself, what stage it is. If you do flat, how far you are up in the stage. If there's another 15 minutes. You definitely need to think about the big picture, like when something goes wrong in an individual stage, like you have a crash or something, the worst thing you can do is get all panicky and, and rush back up. You just need to take your time, be calm. And generally during the course of a whole weekend, everyone's gonna crash a couple times. Like it's just the nature of the sport, like not really knowing the trail, pushing your limits, sometimes pushing beyond your limits. Just being smart, you know? Like you can almost sometimes get the reel back in a little bit to make sure you stay on course, picking good lines and you know, destroy something. When you have those days where everything just clicks, like you're riding well, everything's flown together, and the stages are all going individually well, and nothing goes wrong, and it just feels effortless sometimes, you know, like. Things were clicking, it was just second nature, and you obviously push really hard, but um, you were just in the, in the zone and in the moment, and just luck was on your side, and just made it all happen. That's what keeps us coming back though, you know, like trying to get that feeling. Yeah.